Hello, welcome to Richards FM Music Recommendations, Volume 13, with me, Mark Richards. Um, every week I try to throw some new songs at you to see if you can find something new to like or stuff that you didn't know was out, or some stuff like that, just to chuck some random me stuff your way and see what you think. Um, this week we've got 12 tracks that were released in 2021. So normally I'll put some older stuff in and some newer stuff and some completely random stuff but this week it's on this it's on part of two part as well so i'm going to do another part to this as as you know you would insinuate <laughs> um next week so this week is the first part of that 12 new songs released in this year from albums coming out or just individual songs that people have released so see what you think all the songs for this week's playlist are in a spotify playlist titled richard's fm volume 13 and they're also in my big for Richard's FM playlist where I'd th chuck all of the tracks from these videos I have to do in and I'll put the links for both in the description below. Right, so all of that waffle being over with, let's get cracking. The first track this week is by Frank Turner. And you'll know Frank Turner, he's a folky, country, punky, indie legend, basically. And he's released a new single called The Gathering, which is bang on, it's proper Starts off shouty punk and then he goes for his big choruses that he likes, big sing-along choruses, which will be just amazing live. And that's, that's what this song is about. It's all about the live experience and getting back to that. I think he's missed touring and missed playing live, which a lot of artists have. We've, we've all missed going to gigs. So that's what this song is about. It's a proper life-affirming, get yourself into a gig thing. And, the, and the, the picture for it, which comes up on Spotify or whatever, is just bang on as well loads of people enjoying him and just crowd with a crowd surfing thing yeah fantastic great way to start this week's playlist and i'm liking that so another album that came out or one of the earlier albums that came out this year was the foo fighters medicine at midnight um really good album proper return to form for the foo fighters i've featured one of their tracks before in my playlists um the song i've put on this week is no son of mine which i really like one of my favorite tracks off the album and like i say it is a good album so Check out No Son of Mine, proper, just a good rolling rock song, really like it, proper Foo Fighters doing what they do best in my opinion, which is good riffy driven songs, so we're liking that. So try that one out, which you've probably already heard, but if you haven't, do it. So next is Gary Newman, so I've had another couple of Gary Newman tracks from his forthcoming album Intruder, which is out next week, I think, May 21st. Um, it's sounding really good. There's been four singles off it so far, and this week's is Saints and Liars, uh, an edit of that. Gary Newman, as I've said before on, the, on these videos, I'm, I'm really liking his newer stuff from Savage Songs from the Broken World, which is just there. Um, Intruder is a follow-up to this, uh, stylistically, if not thematically. It's it's really good. This album is really good, as I've, I've said before. And the new album sounding like it could turn out to be another classic so i'm really enjoying that so check out gary newman proper industrial electronic rock it's just gary newman basically just check that out it's good stuff right next we've got dan lasak so you may have heard of dan lasak uh, his, mo his most uh, mainstream stuff or not even mainstream stuff or his most known stuff was with a guy called scroobius pip so Daniel Sack versus Scroobius Pip, and they had an album out called Angles, which is just fantastic. If you've not heard Angles, check that out. That's just a really good album. He's got now doing some solo stuff, which he has been doing for a bit, but he's released a new single called Eat Lego, Die Happy, which is his new stuff's more sort of atmospheric electronic stuff. But I really like it. It's got a good tune to it. It's stuff you can get into and enjoy. It's got a good atmosphere to it. And I'm really liking that. If you if you enjoy Eat Lego Die Happy, he's got an EP out as well, which came out this year called The Death of Me, which came out at the end of last year, which is four or five tracks in the same sort of vein. Um, I think it's worth checking out. If you like a bit of sort of in, in, instrumental electronic sort of stuff, a bit different, a bit of a challenge, then I'd go for that down the sack. I've done a bit of a curveball, but I really like it. So the fifth track this week is by Iron and Wine. So Iron and Wine is basically one guy called Sam Bevans, I think it is. Let's see if I can find that now. No, Sam Bean, sorry. My apologies. Um, it's just released uh, a compilation album called Archive Series 
volume number five, the Tallahassee recordings. Um, there are it's a bunch of home recordings that he's done over the years. And as the title suggests, it's number five in an archive series that he's released. The song that I've heard, which came up on here, is Calm on the Valley. And I, I really like it. It's a nice acoustic uh, little trip down sort of his memory lane. And it's just really, really nice. I really like it. It's got a good vocal from from Sam from Iron Wine. And I, I, I like odds and sods of Iron Wine. I've heard bits and bobs before of his. I'm trying to remember what the name of the album was. I liked. Let me just have a look at that because that's worth pointing out. But yeah, it's, it's just proper, proper like acoustic, mellow sort of country Americana -y type stuff. And um, yes, I'm liking it. Just bear with me while I waffle my way through. Ah, oh, there we go. Kiss Each Other Clean from 2013 was a song I got. Walking Far From Home, Me and Lazarus, Monkeys Up Town. Yeah, really good album. So if you like Calm on the Valley, um, check that out. Kiss Each Other Clean, quality, quality album. Right, so that's me having a little Spotify diversion. So I hope you like that one. The next is another band that I've had in a couple of times called Another Sky. Um, they had an EP out, which is one of the first things to come out this year, actually, um, called Music for Winter Volume 1, which, funnily enough, came out in January. So um, I've not put it in before because it's it's quite sort of low, low beat, um, quite sort of sombre, but it's also fairly uplifting in the music and the lyrics in, in places. It sort of does a bit of that, but it's 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 just such a good EP. It's like a six track EP, I think. And yeah, it, it's worth a listen if you're feeling in a bit of a sort of melancholy, sombre mood and you want sort of lifting up because it's got that kind of vibe. And it's really good. I put the track Was I Unkind, which is a good indication of where the EP goes. Uh, so if you like that and you, you fancy a bit of that, try that out. Another Sky are quality, really good, really good vocals, really good sounds. I'm liking Another Sky. So yeah, check that out. Right. Next, we've got Jade Bird, and I think I've had a track or two of hers in before, but she seems to be gearing up for a new album coming out this year, seems to be releasing bits and bobs. She's just released an EP from RCA Studios as well, which I'm a bit like that with. Um, so I've put the last single that she had up had out was called Open Up The Heavens, which is a good slice of guitar, pop, sort of indie, upbeat, lively and Jay Bird's got such a good voice anyway, I really like her voice. So check that out, and hopefully you've got, new, you've got another couple of singles out that you can check out if you want to delve into that a bit further. So yeah, Jay Bird, open up the heavens. I hope you like that. All right, next we've got the Hold Steady. I'm pretty sure I put these in last week or the week before, but I'm doing it again because their new album, Open Door Policy, is one of the best, my favourite albums of the year so far, from the, the spoken word thing that they do offers some absolute quality rock music i mean not heavy rock it's just rock music guitar based rock music and it's a lot more varied than i make that sound it, it definitely is a lot more varied than i make that sound but check out family farm really really good song really good i just love his delivery now i love it sounds like his first album oh what did i do with that so i've got all these oh, there you go Right, so, yes, that's the first Hold Steady album, which I picked up cheap in a car boot or charity shop or something, somewhere, I can't remember now. But that's that's okay, and they, they've definitely come a long way from this. It's Hold Steady, almost killed me, so, yes. Check out the new track, because they've come such a long way, and they're a lot better than the first album. So, yeah, like that. Right, oh, we're rattling through this week, wonderful. Right, next we've got the Black Crows. We haven't got the Black Crows at all. Talking rubbish, Mark. We've got the Black Keys um, with their cover version of John Lee Hooker's Crawling King Snake. Um, they've just released a new album called Delta Cream, which is a cover version album from Hill Country Blues, which is like a Mississippi basic guitar sort of songs. Uh, they've done a cover version of that. The, the main guy from there was a guy called Junior Kimbruff, or Kimbra, depending on how you want to say that, probably Kimbra. Um, he did a version of Crawling King Snake, so they've covered that version rather than the Johnny Hooker original. 
and it's a really, really good version. There's, there's several cover versions of Crawley's Keen Snake about, obviously the Doors being the, one of the most famous ones. But um, yeah, <coughs> excuse me, I really like this one. It's got a proper good attitude, proper mellow stuff. Kind of adds something to the song which you would expect from a cover version. And I, I've liked Odds and Sods Black Keys over the years. They've, they've been around for quite a long time now, as you may well know. So yeah, check out Crawling King Snake if you've got the slightest interest in a bit of blues. Um, yeah, brilliant stuff. Liking that. So Delta Cream is the album that's just come out. So yeah. Ah, cup of tea. Right. Get Cape, Where Cape Fly is our 10th track of the week. A still standalone single here. He's obviously released an EP not so long back, which I've put a track in from before. But the new single, this single, it's okay. I'll put it in. I'm not sure whether I like it all that much. But you see what you think. It's it's like an indication, an indictment. Indictment? What's the word I'm looking for? It's a critique. There you go. It's a, it's a critique of American politics and where it was under the Trump administration and that sort of thing called Red, White and Blue. It's it's a good song and I like Get Cape's political awareness and, and social activism and stuff. I think there's a place for that in music and I think it's well worth broadening your horizons. You don't all just need to listen to happy, clappy music. It's You need a bit of social awareness as well. So Get Cape, Wear Cape, Fly, Red, White and Blue. See what you think. It's a bit of a curveball, but it, again, it's one that's released this year, which is what we're going for. So, yeah, there you go. Next is another artist I've had in before called Anna Brun, a Swedish singer-songwriter who I really like. I really love her voice, and her songwriting is just superlative. She's released an EP this year as a like a supplement to the two albums from last year which I've mentioned before. Um, After the Great Storm, the piano version is the lead single from that. It's like a four-track EP, the RMV versions. Um, After the Great Storm, I'll stop messing with my hat. <laughs> no, I won't. Um, After the Great Storm, piano version, really, really nice. It's a really nice, chilled-out, mellow EP. Reflective, maybe, is a good word for it as well. But, um, yeah, After the Great Storm, I really like that. It's, it's from... The first of those two albums that I mentioned called After the Storm, which came out last year. If you like this version, go check out the two companion albums. Absolute quality stuff. Well worth a listen. And we're going to end this week's section of 2021 releases with Filter, an American hard rock band, which doesn't do them justice by description at all. But Filter are just great. I love Richard Patrick's voice, his, his songwritings, his songs are great. His last album, Crazy Eyes which I wasn't all that keen on. What have I done with that? That's a piece of wet. Bear with me. Yeah, crazy eyes. There you go. So that... It, it, he's always had industri industri industrial influences, and it's always been good, but he's always tempered it with hooks and melody and that. And this album went completely into full-on Nine Inch Nails territory and probably probably more abrasive stuff than that, maybe a bit ministry sort of thing. But it's okay. I'm hoping the new stuff is a bit more maybe accessible. Maybe that's just me being a bit wet. But anyway, I put Thoughts and Prayers in, which is hopefully one of the new singles off the new album he's recording. He's just signed to a new record label as well. So hopefully that'll be forthcoming. There was another single as well called Murica. So... Yeah, again, both critiques of American society, as is at the minute. So and Phil, um, Richard Patrick's always had his, I always had, like to have his say. So we like that. So, yeah, check out Filter, Thoughts and Prayers as your last track for this week's edition of the 2021 songs. So, yes, it's all good. All right, so I hope you like what you've heard. Check out Gary Newman. Check out that, if you like that. And then check out everything else I've played. I'll say all the songs will be in Spotify playlist. I'll put the links to in the description below. And I hope you've enjoyed these music recommendations that I've got for you. Um, like I say, I'll do another one next week. That's it. Take it easy. Peace. Cheers. <laughs>